All right, so it's time to share the results. Now, it is currently September 29th, 2023. If you remember, we registered this website on September 15th, 2023, exactly two weeks ago. Now, the current rankings have been there for a few days, so this actually took about 10 days, and we're gonna jump into that right now. So if we go search for Landenberg SEO, we still have my student, who is number one. We have my test site with the potty word at number two. We have his YouTube channel at number three. Remember I created that YouTube video and I said either my video was gonna take over or his would stay. Likely since his is still there, likely his channel will stay put unless I did some SEO to the actual video. But that's okay, right? It's my student and I don't care. Then we got his site as well at number four because he has multiple pages on his site and it's ranking this page as well. At number five, we have, whoa, something that says the Landenberg SEO guy. And this is from scoop.it. I'll explain that in just a minute. At number six, we have a foreign site, seven a foreign site, eight a foreign site. And by foreign sites, that just mean not my property or my students. Number nine, look what we have here. We have LandenbergSEOguy.com. What this means is we hit the first page in less than two weeks. Now, this isn't a super competitive term, right? Landenberg SEO, it's not competitive, but it's also not, I wouldn't say it's like super easy. It's not a super long tail keyword. The whole point of this was to pick a keyword that I knew we could hit the first page for within a month or so and show you with basic on-page optimization and focusing on the core principles that I gave you throughout this series that we could end up ranking really well. And as you see, within about 10 days or so, we hit the first page and we didn't even really do much yet, right? All they really did for the most part was set those core on-page principles that we talked about throughout the series. And then I just did a little bit of off-page SEO. I didn't do much yet. If I really wanna push this site up to the top, it would be very easy. I would just keep getting a few more links there and I would easily get to number one. Uh, We'll see if we want to do that moving forward. Likely we will just to kind of push it up a little bit and just show you we can get it to number one. But for now, it only has a few links going to it. Okay, so if you remember, I created that YouTube video and the YouTube video links to this website. Now, I also created this property right here, which is scoop.it. Okay, now the reason I created this property on here is because scoop.it, like YouTube, has a lot of domain authority. Okay. So there's 297,000 referring domains that are pointing to scoop.it. Now they're not pointing to my page on scoop.it. The page I have on scoop.it has zero links, but because this domain scoop.it has a lot of links going to it, when you create a page on that domain, you get a boost from it, okay? You don't get a full boost as if you were on the home page. And if your page actually gets links, it gets even a lot more boost. But again, we're kind of building off the homepage authority of scoop.it. We created a property that says Landenberg SEO in it, and then we link back to our website. Now this serves as a two purpose thing. Number one, it can rank itself. As you can see, it does. This is currently number five for Landenberg SEO. But number two, if I click on this property and we bring it up, you can see it's also linking to our LandenbergSEOguy.com site. So this also builds another link to our website. Now both the YouTube link and this scoop.it link are no follow links. Now what that means is Google says to give a link no follow attributions and that won't give the place you're linking to any link to so to speak. So basically what that means is no follow links they say don't help whatever you're linking to. I don't believe it totally. I think no file links help less, but at the same time, I think they do help. So just be aware of that. A little more advanced stuff we'll talk about later, but I wanted to point it out right now. So again, I just just went on scoop.it, I created an account, and notice what I made my username as, Landenberg SEO Guy. I did that on purpose, number one for branding, but number two, because we have Landenberg SEO in our username. I then put Landenberg SEO in the title name, and I also put Landenberg SEO in my description. That way, Google knows exactly what this property is about. It's on a high domain authority site. So when they read all this off a high domain authority site, they're gonna rank it well for Landenberg SEO. And that is what we did here. Then of course, I also got the additional thing, which is a link going to our homepage, which likely helped us move up a little bit. In the first week or so, I didn't show you, but the site debuted at like number 13. So it was on page two. After I did the YouTube video and this link here, it moved up to number nine. Now that could have been just for time, right? An an additional week maybe just moved it up in number nine but these links also didn't help and that could have helped push the the needle a little bit so since we're only two weeks in what could happen over the next month or so is we could just naturally move up without doing anything or if we don't want to risk you know the the time 
crunch there, we could start building more links and, and the chance of it moving up will, will increase even more. So that's what's interesting about SEO is links really end up moving the needle after you get your basic on page right, but also time moves the needle. You need, pages need time to age so they can properly move up. And again, our LandenbergSEOGuy.com site with what we currently did could end up number one three months from now from doing absolutely nothing, okay? But it's a push-pull relationship where do I want to risk that? Do I want to do nothing and just see if I, get, if I get to number one? Because I could do nothing and I could stay at number nine. But if I go and do a bunch of links and I ended up not needing them, well, I kind of wasted that money on all those links I built and the time. So it's kind of a push-pull relationship where what I like to do is just slowly build links. So what I'll likely do here is I'll give it another week or two, I'll see where the site is at, and then from there, I'll probably build a little bit more links. And that way, I can let some more links kick in, then I give it some more time, I see where it ends up, and then I take it from there. What most SEOs make the mistake of is they come in, they send all these links all at once, and they end up messing something up, or they build a bunch of links they didn't even need to build, and they waste a lot of resources and time, and that's something you want to avoid. So my recommendation, especially when you're first starting a site like this, move nice and slow. Give it time. Be patient. SEO is about patience. It's about perfecting the core basics that I taught you with on-page SEO, and it's about being patient. So from here, we have our on-page set. Everything is set for our on-page. We could build out more content on the site and that could help build up our topical authority, it's called, which we'll also talk about later. But for now, I'm gonna leave the on-page as it is. I'm gonna give it a week or two. I'm gonna see where the site ends up. And then if I'm not liking where I am, if I'm not at least five or better, maybe I'll start building a little bit more links, building a little bit more authority to the site, which will help push it up even more. Once I do that, I again, give it more time. I see where it lands, give it you know a couple weeks to a month see where it lands, then maybe I build a little more links to keep boosting it up. So that's the plan for this site, but I just wanted to check in and show you the results, what I'm showing you in this series, actually what panned out, right? We're already first page in just two weeks, which is very quick for, for SEO today. And I just wanted to make sure you guys know this stuff works, right? This, it, it's not complicated. SEO does not have to be overcomplicated. You just have to master the basics and be patient and just follow what I'm doing in this series and you will do very well with your SEO. So this is gonna be the end now for part one. I wanted to show you the results. Part two, we're gonna start moving into to a, a little bit other stuff, explaining you know what on-page SEO is, how it works, you know what off-page SEO is. Just kind of go into some more in-detail stuff to make sure you have a complete understanding of SEO. Hope you enjoyed part one.